Four questions about the Ninth Circuit you were afraid to ask. What actually is the Ninth Circuit? The Ninth Circuit is a part of the U.S. court system that includes the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit in San Francisco and all the district and bankruptcy courts under its jurisdiction. The nation is divided into 11 regions, or circuits, plus the District of Columbia and the Federal Circuit Court of Appeals. Decisions in district courts can be appealed to the circuit courts. Circuit courts are usually the last stop unless a case goes to the Supreme Court. There are 29 active judges in the Ninth Circuit. All federal judges serve lifetime appointments. They can't be fired by the president, but they can be impeached by the Senate, which is extremely rare. The Ninth Circuit is the largest circuit court, both in terms of geography and caseload. When it was created in 1891, the circuit covered only 3% of the nation's population. Now it covers nearly 20%. Number two, is it true the Ninth Circuit has a nearly 80% overturn rate, as President Trump has said? Yes and no. Between 2010 and 2015, 79% of the Ninth Circuit Court cases that ended up at the Supreme Court were overturned. In the same period, the Sixth Circuit and the Eleventh Circuit had even higher overturn rates, 87 and 85% respectively. But here's the thing, it isn't really a useful number anyway, because it only covers the handful of cases that made it to the Supreme Court. The Ninth Circuit had more than 12,000 cases in 2015, and only 11 cases went to the Supreme Court. Eight were overturned. In fact, the Supreme Court reverses in about two-thirds of all cases it accepts. Number three. Is the Ninth Circuit Court super liberal? The Ninth Circuit has more judges appointed by Democratic presidents than Republican. In the 1970s, Jimmy Carter appointed a slew of very liberal judges. It has shifted closer to the center in recent years, including center-left appointments by former President Barack Obama. Number four, can President Trump break up the circuit courts? Basically, no, not with an executive order at least. It would take an act of Congress to change the way the circuit courts are organized. But there is a bill to do just that, and it predates Trump's criticism. Arizona Senators Jeff Flake and John McCain introduced a bill to split the Ninth Circuit. As mentioned earlier, the Ninth Circuit has the biggest caseload by far, about a fifth of the cases all of the circuit courts terminate each year. Splitting it alone would not change the ideological leanings of the court, unless the new courts also added new seats for the president to fill. Opponents say it is not worth the cost of implementing.